Black Phone 2021 Movie Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Black Phone from 2021. Now, I really, really was interested in this movie. Of all the announced scary movies coming up, I was totally interested in this one the most. Learning that it was shot by the same guy who did Sinister. I always really liked Sinister and Ethan Hawke was in Sinister. So I also thought that Ethan Hawke could take it to crazy extremes and he's never got a chance to do that but he does in this role. So to me in this movie, I actually really, really liked the world building and the depth to this movie. It feels like you could have just done so many generic scenes. You just have some kids saying some stuff and then they slowly run into the killer, things like that. I felt like there was lots of depth to all the scenes and I felt like there was really not even a minute wasted in telling a nice story in the beginning. There's two kids you're kind of introduced to and then they get caught by the grabber and both times you're like, wow, I really want this guy to stay in the movie and then they get caught by the grabber you're like oh my gosh that's crazy the main character that you follow is a little bit weaker and the two people who were grabbed by the grabber physically beat him in something like the first guy beat him in baseball and the second guy was like defending him against bullies so these guys are kind of like hot shots and they lose to the grabber so it's almost like how is this guy gonna you know get out things like that so the basic synopsis is there's a serial killer called the grabber he goes and kidnaps kids. You don't really understand even at the end what he does to them. There's kind of like this mystery aspect. I think it's called Naughty Boy, the game that he plays, but you don't ever see that. So, but you understand that they die somehow. So that's kind of like the basic synopsis. You follow this kid and then he gets caught and he's stuck in this room. There's a black phone on the wall that's not connected to anything. He kind of like telepathically hears the phone ring. He could pick it up and he could talk to the kids who were previously killed by the grabber. So my basic thoughts of this movie is pretty simple because obviously I can't reveal any spoilers. Really good movie, really good ideas. I really like the acting from Ethan Hawke. I really like the world building. I just feel by the end of this movie, everything kind of sizzles out just a little bit. Now, it by no means ruins it or makes it bad. This movie's still really good. But just a lot of the lore and a lot of the things that I liked about the beginning of the movie kind of sizzled out a little bit. You find more things about the grabber that make him just not so scary, not so, in my opinion, so interesting compared to other killers out there. They kind of wrap up everything the grabber's done by the end of the movie. It's something that I don't really want everything explained. Like, I don't want to know exactly how many people he's killed and when he's killed them, you know? It's like uh, Michael, Jason, Freddy. It's like, you don't have an understanding of every single person they killed ever. You know, you know that there's this long lure of people that they killed from a long time ago, and it's like, I almost don't want to know everything. You just want to know this person's like a mythical killer. At the end, they kind of summarize everything he's ever done into a nice little box, and I just wasn't a super big fan of that. I just felt like some of the things that the kids were telling him were just a little illogical. I had a little bit of questions with some of the stuff that they were saying. There was even times where they would call him and then they would tell him what they did to try to escape, and he basically goes and checks out the area, and by the end of the movie, he doesn't even to use that to escape so it was kind of like to me it was it's cool because you know this person died there he's showing him the little tricks that he found about the room but it's almost kind of like a little bit of wasted space a little bit by the end and there was just a few just questions that I asked myself that I didn't understand about just the continuity of the kids talking to him they were very 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 slight can't really get into them to avoid spoilers but besides that guys really don't have anything bad to say about it really enjoyed the world building I like Ethan Hawke, it had lots and lots of depth to it. It finishes pretty strong, keeps most of that vibe in there. It was very intense, very unique. I haven't really seen a movie that feels exactly like this. I liked a lot of the lure of the grabber in the beginning, especially the um, throw in the black balloons. I don't know, I felt like that was just so unique, as dark and bad as that is. It was just such a unique touch to him. And I just really enjoyed this movie. It, it totally delivered on everything I wanted it to. And I would probably give it a solid 7.5. To me, uh, seven is when I start to like it. So 7.5 is just slightly above it. Totally like this movie. I would totally watch it again. I would recommend that other people watched it. Um, if I were to say buy, try, or pass, I would say a really, really, really strong try. 
there's something about this movie, I, I don't know, I just don't get pulled to want to buy it, but there's really nothing bad about it. It's not something I would turn down watching again. I wouldn't mind watching it again at all. I just felt like it sizzles out a little bit by the end with the lure, but that's just maybe me. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.